look what I got here. Just went to the gun store today. Looking for something different. I've actually been wanting something like this for a long time. But I never got it. In fact, I felt, felt kind of funny going in and buying it. You feel kind of less than manly going in and looking for a gun like this. But this is what I got. North American Arms. North American Arms Mini Revolver. Convertible. 22 Magnum. This is the Magnum cylinder. And 22 Long Rifle. Will also fire shorts. Now initially I went in looking for the 22 Long Rifle only version. But I did not get that one. I'll tell you why. It was just too small. I thought they were all the same size pretty much. And you can see this is a small gun. I'm going to pull out my uh, Smith & Wesson J-Frame. This is the smallest gun Smith & Wesson makes as far as revolvers. And even the, the larger magnum of this uh, North American Arms is pretty darn tiny. But the, the 22 long rifle only version, I couldn't even hold it. It was probably anywhere from 25% to 33% smaller than this gun. I couldn't even get my hand on it to hold it. The, re the re reason why I wanted the 22 long rifle version only is because that's pretty much all I want to fire through the thing for the most part because 22 long rifle is bored out for 222 diameter and the 22 magnum is bored out for 224 so anytime you get a, a magnum barrel and you shoot a 22 long rifle through it you're kind of tumbling that 22 long rifle through the barrel it will decrease your accuracy at a little bit longer range but you know these aren't really designed for very far away anyway so I felt like I was getting a lot more gun out of this thing and the second thing here advantage to getting the, the 22 Magnum is with the standard long rifle I had no intention of carrying this thing whatsoever but with the 22 Magnum cylinder I might consider it as a backup gun now from what I gather 22 long rifle out of a gun like this is going to come in anywhere around uh, 50 foot pounds of energy and some 22 long rifle rounds are a little bit better um, one of them was 65 foot pounds that I saw online which is pretty uh, similar to a 25 automatic so not bad at something like that and then from what I gather quick little glance of information the 22 magnums maybe about 75 foot pounds of energy so not a not a ton more but a little bit of an advantage over the 22 long rifle. So I have not even disassembled this thing, or tried to load it, anything. This is the first time I've opened this box since I got it home. I got some old 22 laying around and I picked up some 22 Magnums. I didn't even look at what I was grabbing. I just grabbed 22 Magnums. Apparently I picked up ones made for a rifle here. <laughs> you got the flex tip. Uh, 30 grain VMAX, Hornady brand. Let's see what we got here. And I looked up a little bit of information on, on 22 Magnum out of this type of gun. And, you know, 30 grain bullet like that, about a thousand feet per second. Not bad, not bad at all. So, I don't even know how to take this thing apart. I was messing with it in the gun store. I noticed that this pin pushes in and this pulls out, and that must be all you gotta do. Looks like you probably gotta cock the hammer to pull it out. I don't know if you have to cock the hammer all the way or not, but uh, this has an L on it for a long rifle. This would be the Magnum. So let's let's try to load this thing up. One, two. I love five shot revolvers. This thing is literally the size of a nickel around. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Probably gotta pull the let's see. I'm not really sure. Looks like you gotta cock the hammer a little bit to get the uh, thing to come down. I can't think of what it's called. And then let's put this thing back in place. Feels about right. Alright. Give it a few rounds through it. See how it shoots. NAA Mini 22 long rifle. Seven yards.
this off and put the magnum cylinder in it. And see how that does. Now I'm going to go for the 22 magnum. Seven yards. I think the Magnum is a little more accurate. Down below here on the body I got all five hits, 22 long rifle. You know, it's just about a six inch spread here. Up here I got one total miss, and then two in the same hole, three, four. So, I suppose that's not bad for uh, what it is. I'm gonna shoot some two by fours with these and see what happens. Two by fours, 22 long rifle, and I'm gonna flip it over and do a 22 Magnum. See if there's a difference. See if it does anything to it. Here's the 22 long rifle. I'm gonna do another one. Another one. Raising it. All right, there we go. One last round. Okay, 22 Magnum. Let's see what we get with that. One more. There's a difference. I love differences. Okay, I hit it with the 22 long rifle here. A couple grazes, and here's a hit here. It's keyholing, you can tell that. This is a straight on hit. And with the 22 long rifle, we're not getting through even one two by four. 22 Magnum, I hit it a couple different times here. And this is a straight up exit here. And it may or may not be an exit right there. I think it's still in there, but darn near exited. So there's the back of the 22 long rifle one, back of the 22 Magnum. If that makes a difference to you or not, I don't know, but there's a difference there. So 22 Magnum slash long rifle, North American Arms. Cool little gun. And there's a way, to, I guess, to uh, carry it safely. You have to rotate it till it lands on an empty slot here but I have not figured that out yet because every time I try to put it in that slot it doesn't want to go it wants to stick out and not do anything except land on the empties here so I don't know why that is okay, I got to do it that time Okay. So now it's safe. This thing would fit just about anywhere. That's gone. Boot gun, maybe. Pocket. Good pocket holster. Yeah, that's gone. That's not. That's like nothing. These little things up here. That's funny. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Funny little gun. Thanks for watching.